and residents of Lafayette, Aste, Nasarawa State Capital are appealing to the federal government to work out modalities to, uh, in order to provide constant power supply. They made the appeal while speaking to TVC News on the challenges bedeviling their businesses in the state. Our correspondent Godwin Aguam tells us more. Irregular power supply has been a major issue in Lafayette, the capital of Nasarawa State, since its creation in 1996. This has resulted in the use of generators by owners of businesses who end up using their gains to purchase fuel to carry out their daily activities. We not get light in Nassau State at all. Every day we use our money to buy foil and gas. So we need the favor of the government. There is not light. Sometimes I will come back, come to shop, I will be buying fuel, using it and working. And if, as in, the money, I'm supposed to have money, to, as in, to repair my shop, there is no money, I will be using the money and be buying food and be using. Seriously, I don't like what government are doing. Government is supposed to sit down and talk about, about this light. Emmanuel Inu is a barber who barely manages to echo to living from his business due to regular power supply. To run a fair trial the day, it's not easy to run fair trial the day. And if there's lights, we'll commonize it. We don't understand, then it's okay. We can run gen maybe from that six, then maybe to nine. Then if there's lights, maybe we can use the light throughout the day. The Nasarawa State Government has assured residents of the state that they would experience 24 hours power supply before the end of 2019. I have been able to uh, link up with the federal authority, especially with the office of the vice president. Uh, NIPP uh, to request for the stepping down of the 330 line which is passing from Enugu, Makodi to Jos uh, for a step down to uh, a transmission substation. Uh, to do that will require tremendous amount of money and a lot of systems and uh, we painstakingly followed that and uh, we're so happy uh, that the office of the vice president has been very very consistent and cooperative in this direction the hospital has been taking a great uh, body when it comes to issue of light but again with the support of the governor we were able to get 33 kva into the hospital and right now for the hospital our power station is almost 24 hours the 33 KVA and 330 power lines being constructed by the federal government is expected to bring respite to the long yearnings of residents of the state.